Hello, Internet. This is another video on the B-Sides Connecticut Capture the Flag competition. Uh, in this case, I want to be looking at some of the steganography challenges in this category, Stagger Done. Uh, Blopcat, or Plopcat, sorry, for 112 points will be the first one that we take a look at. Let's see if the challenge prompt will load. Classic Internet connection. Okay, cool. It says he wants to get it out. Help him. Answer is inside the curly braces. Key equals this thing. Uh, this challenge brought to you by this individual. Let him know if you enjoyed it. They had a cool feature uh, to just offer a link to tweet to the uh, like challenge author or the developer of, of that problem. And then you could just say, oh, I like this challenge, etc. They're kind of neat. So cool to just be able to see these people on Twitter and you know, see them in the same room, you know, at the same time. So, all right, let's just dump, jump in. I have this uh, already downloaded. I think I was about to say dump in. All right, yeah, stag. Uh, Plopcat is the one that we're working on. I've got this all set up here, so let's see what we're working with. This is Plopcat. <laughs> all right. So obviously it is just a thing here. We can go ahead and strings it, right? Just a regular JPEG image. Uh, I'm going to run this through less so I can see everything. Uh, then I'm just going to hit page down a little bit to keep looking through this stuff because I do want to be thorough. And there we go. I find this giant binary string here. So, okay, let's see what we can do with this. Let's go ahead and convert it into something else. I'm going to run Python. And then let's just say int with that pasted in base two. So, oh, it's got to actually be a string. Go ahead and paste that with quotes. Okay, cool. And then let's go ahead and take the hex of that. And then let's carve it up. So slice from two so we remove the 0x at the start, uh, and the L at the very end, so negative 1. And then we can go ahead and decode that from hex, and we get the key just like that. So, okay, let's go ahead and actually... Can I carve that through? Uh, I may as well just slice that too. Let's go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 in to negative 1, right? Okay, sweet. And there is our flag. Let's go ahead and make a simple get flag script with that, right? May as well automate it just because we can, and that way we can save it. I hit the caps lock key. Could just print that out. Yes. Mark as executable. Run it. And I think I had a typo. Must have hit an extra key in there at the very end. Just a random tab key. What? Oh my goodness, I made it a bash script. You guys should have told me. I'm wasting so much time in this video. All right. Sweet. That can be our flag. And we would submit that for some points. Let's mark plop cat as complete. We've wasted like three minutes already. Let's jump into the note. This is a another challenge that had a couple solves. Download this image and it has I have the dog. It just has a thing. You could do whatever reconnaissance that you wanted on it. Strings again, foremost, bin walk, stack hide, etc. Uh if it's a steganography challenge, what I want to do is go ahead and run stegsolve on it. And if you don't have stegsolve, you can just go ahead and find online. Simple Google search should take you to a GitHub repository where you can download it. And it's a Java jar file, so let's run it from the current directory. So stegsolve.jar. Hit O to open up a file, and we've got ours already loaded in there. And you can just arrow through a couple different filters and, and forms here. Uh, we will see in Red Plane Zero and some of the others, we have the key visible. So let's go ahead and just jot it down. I want to say nano flag.text. I think I had a colon in there somehow. Let's go ahead and say xt38 uqhvx2xu. Not a good way to for us to automate that. We can write a note like, okay, hey, solution.txt, go ahead and just run stegsolve on it, but that is that. Good to know that tool, obviously, and it comes in handy when it's necessary. Aw, cat, 237 points. So if the cat sees it, will you? We can download this. Let's just go ahead and get to that directory, aw, cat. Looking at a JPEG image, let's go ahead and take a look. It's a cat. Sweet. Run strings on this, right? The usual reconnaissance that we do. Looks like it has interesting data in it. Oh, a lot of blank stuff. Interesting. Don't see a whole lot in there. Uh, we can run exif tool on it. And, okay, we see some interesting stuff here. This actually has a lot of data. Windows, photo editor, color space this. Interesting that it has XP comment. I've never, I don't normally see that. And if it's got a comment in it, it's something interesting. That looks like hex, right? So 
let's go ahead and check out what that is. It also has some binary data we can go ahead and decode, but it looks like that might just be a thumbnail image. Let's let's check it out. Let's just say this decode hex. Oh, okay. There's the key, right? Cool. Let's go ahead and slice that up, 5 to negative 1, and that will simply be our key or flag that we can submit. Create a simple get flag script. Actually use the correct shebang line when you're working in the Python language. Follow my lead. <laughs> Don't make my mistakes. Those are counterintuitive things. I can't say both of those. Perfect. Let's move awcat to complete. Cool techniques, right? Next one is test pattern, testing, testing, confirm, message received, etc. Let's go ahead and check what, what that is. Steg puzzle JPEG. It is another PNG image. All right, interesting. Let's try and move that then to a PNG file. Can I EOG, the, EOG that now? I have no, right? Yep, looks like it has interesting colors in here. We could, again, if we wanted to, just run steg solve. Whoop. A lot of results here. I should honestly just make, like, put this in a directory that I know how to easily get to it, but... O to open up the current thing. Let's open up the PNG file. Not a lot here. Peculiar, right? But we've got other tools we can run on this, right? Let's run ZSteg. Since it is a PNG file, we know that we can on PNG. Let's actually, it, it, that's interesting. It says key, 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 key equals nine. Huh. Let's, is this tag tag A for everything? Wow, interesting stuff. Key equals text nine GV J. Looks like we can see it, it looks like it's trying to grow portions of it. Key. This is peculiar. Nine. GVJ. F. Y. Six FP six Y. I'm trying to piece this together in my mind because let's go ahead and split this horizontally. Flag dot text. We see turn this down. Key. 9 Sorry, I probably just sound like an idiot. 9 GVJ I put a 0 not a 9. F 5P YF. Hmm. I think we actually had better luck when we didn't hadn't we didn't have it test all. Looks like key all the stuff repeats because we had nine GVJ and then six UA was another part that repeated over and over again. PY5 is the next part that comes from it. And FY. The tilde may just be a blind part. And that looks right. That was the key. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and submit that. Go ahead and paste it in. But it should tell me, okay, we've already solved this. That was that challenge. That is the flag. It's just coordinating and piecing together these parts. I don't know why they repeat in an interesting way. But it is trying to hide some text in that. So now that we've got that flag written down, let's go ahead and mark that as complete. I'll close that window. 
zoom in a little bit here. And that was that challenge. All right, what do we have next? Should be Bearcat. Let's just chime into that one. Bearcat. We have this image. The challenge prompt here is just if you want to get this flag out to figure out multiple ways to skin or shave a cat. Okay. EOG. <laughs> Bearcat. Nice. I dig it. Let's go ahead and do our low hanging fruit. All right. Strings on here. Pipe that into actual less interesting stuff. Again, more kind of blank space. Nothing particularly sticks out. We could throw attack and an argument onto strings if we wanted to, just to get things longer than a certain length. Let's check out exif tool. Exif tool gives us some interesting information. It even has an XP comment. Okay. Again, just as we've seen before, this looks like base64. Let's go ahead and decode that. Pipe it to base64 tag D. It says, not a chance. All right, let's just save that something.txt. Maybe that's a, a secret key or something we can use with steghide, right? Steghide extract tech sf on our file here. Maybe password can be not a chance. Nope, nothing. Okay, let's go for binwalk. Binwalk tag E on this. Ah, looks like it has some kind of archive in here. It didn't extract it though. Weird. Let's try and run foremost on it. Output Looks like it just gets the image again. Okay, so I learned a new trick while I was doing this because during the competition, Binwalk did not extract when I used TAC E on it. I think it was, I might have to Google this. It was DAC DD, man, Binwalk. D, DD, type CMD, extract type signatures given the file extension of ext and execute CMD. I don't know what CMD is, but let's just use... I'm trying to remember what I read on Stack Overflow, you know? DD equals, I think it was star... It just said colon or period. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for having to have to bear with me, guys. Colon. Yeah. So, binwalk extract everything. Don't do any command on it, but out of steg puzzle 3.jpg, right? The file that we want to extract stuff from. Go ahead and carve stuff out. Didn't work. All right. Let's go ahead and Google. Binwalk extract didn't work. I don't remember what it was. Binwalk not extracting files from binary. This is the link that I clicked on. DD dot slash. Okay, so just a dot star. Weird. Solution is don't read the man pages, just ask the internet. <laughs> Alright, cool. It extracted everything. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. If I run file on all these, it looks like the 6.5 DCO is the 7-zip archive. Let's try and move that to something dot 7z. And let's run 7z e on it to extract it something. And this is where we need the password. Let's try not a chance with capital N, capital C. Looks like it extracted not a secret transmission, PCAP. So during the competition, um, I had no idea that that comment was there from the EXIF data, from the metadata. Um, I never caught that whatsoever. And I was just trying to hammer the 7z uh, with with passwords from like rocku.txt. I used John the Ripper to get like a 7z to John format. And then I tried to crack it. Nothing worked. So uh, eventually we caught our eyes on that. So very cool. Let's see what we've got here. We've got now uh, just a regular PCAP, right? Yep. We can go ahead and wire shark it if we wanted to. I say that because if we wanted to, I like to go the easy route. Just simply get me back to my prompt, please. It'll happen eventually. Wireshark will let go. All right, fine. I guess we'll just jump to a new shell. Oh, of course, just as I say that. So let's run strings on that not a secret thing. Let's grep tag I for key. And it looks like we've got key equals and password equals this stuff. Let's go ahead and decode this, right? URL decode. I'm just going to go for a lazy online one URL decode. Paste this in. And we get this. So that is our flag.
Cool. And I have one more that I can showcase from this challenge. Uh, it takes a little bit extra work, so I may save it to the next video. This video is getting long, and I have yet to solve this alt-correct uh, text diagonography. It says email.txt, and it looks like it has very, very interesting stuff in here, but there's no like white space in it. There, 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 there weren't any tabs or random spaces. I don't exactly know what I'm looking at just yet for this one, but I can cover this ogres are like onions that we solved after the competition uh, and learn something new with that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys had some interesting, cool insight with some of these and just, I don't know, maybe some things you learned if you haven't seen some of the stuff before or just knowing the tactics and knowing what to look for. So thanks for watching. Hey, before I go, I do want to give a quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. One dollar a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. And just that feel good feeling for helping another guy, another dude, just trying to make his way in the world, you know, trying to put trying to put food on the table, trying to learn how to talk. <laughs> $5 a month or more will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live, because I like to record stuff in bulk, try and have it ready and prepared for like a gradual release schedule. If you want the content right when it's ready, right when it's hot, uh, I'll put it in a Google Drive shared folder, and then hopefully you'll be able to access it whenever you would like. So... Thanks again for watching. Please do like our, uh, join our Discord server. Link in the description. It's a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. All that great stuff. I love you. I'll see you later.